to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the Top 10 Disney D23 Expo Reveals 2022. During the last few years, we've ventured into a lot of different fields. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing. It was all started by a mouse. For this list, we'll be looking at the latest Disney releases to be announced at the Mousetastic D23 event. However, we're only considering titles under the original Disney brand, so you won't find any Star Wars, Marvel, or anything released under the extended Disney umbrella on our list. Although we are very excited about those too. Which newly announced Disney release are you most excited for? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Snow White. Reveal her name. Lips red as the rose, hair black as ebony, skin white as snow. Snow White. A live action remake of Disney's first full length animated feature has been in talk since late 2016. We know Mark Webb signed on to direct, and Greta Gerwig and Aaron Cressida wrote the screenplay. In 2021, Rachel Zegler was announced for the titular role, while Gal Gadot was slated to play the evil queen. The pair arrived at D23 Expo to unveil a first look at the upcoming remake in a brief teaser trailer. Zegler hinted that her Snow White is a princess for the modern age. She's not going to be safe with a prince and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave and true. Meanwhile, Godot stated that this character was, quote, very different from everything I've ever done before. The teaser trailer isn't the only preview audiences apparently got. Godot also demonstrated her best witchy cackle. She's so much different than anything that I've ever played before. Um, and it was great to explore all of those differences and to, and to sing and to dance. Number nine, Peter Pan and Wendy. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Up to Neverland. <laughs> The upcoming live-action Peter Pan and Wendy cast gave audiences a first look at the film's poster. They also shared a teaser trailer, in which we see Neverland shortly after Wendy and the boys arrive. It also provides the audience with their first glance at newcomer Alexander Maloney as Peter Pan and Jude Law as the villainous Captain Hook. Apparently, this adaptation will dive into the pair's tempestuous backstory and possibly reveal an unlikely friendship. Ever Anderson, who plays Wendy, also shared that her character and Peter share a more equal role in this version. And to see it all come together with all the work that everybody's put into it and all the joy, it just filled my heart up. I couldn't take it. Also in the cast are Alyssa Wopenatak as Tiger Lily, Jim Gaffigan as Mr. Smee, and Yara Shahidi as Tinkerbell. So I brought a lot of my Cree background to it as a Nihiel person. I did lots of digging and lots of, you know, background research and on my people, and I brought that to the role. The film will be released on Disney Plus in 2023. Number 8, Iwaju. Which in the Yoruba language roughly translates to the future. Iwaju marks Disney's first collaboration with an outside studio in a century. The animated series introduces us to Tala and Kole, two kids from opposite ends of the track in a futuristic version of Lagos, Nigeria. The duo, and a trusty animal sidekick, embark on a sci-fi adventure that addresses class disparity and shakes up the status quo. Their dream was to bring African stories created by African artists to the world through comics and animation, highlighting the diversity of cultures, history, and voices across the continent. Disney described the series as a love letter to Nigeria and said they wanted to show off the city's unique qualities. Audiences were shown a clip that has yet to be made available to the wider public. However, the artwork we've seen looks stunning. We'll definitely be tuning in when Iwaju drops on Disney Plus sometime in 2023. I feel it's really important to see yourself on screen. And I also think the representation is very important behind the camera. 900 people make these films and they need a lot of folks of all different hues to make them. Everybody brings a little bit to the table, a little bit of themselves. Number seven, The Haunted Mansion. Welcome foolish mortals to the Haunted Mansion. If you're a fan of Disney's Haunted Mansion ride, you're in luck. A new film based on the ghostly attraction will be haunting our screens in the near future. Director Justin Simeon shared that this dark comedy will have plenty of nods to its source inspiration. 
Those lucky enough to be present watched a trailer that previewed the titular mansion and revealed a mysterious hallway. Although you mortals have been away, the ghosts of the haunted mansion haven't gone anywhere. In fact, they've kept busy doing some haunted home improvements. It also teased sightings of Danny DeVito, Owen Wilson, Winona Ryder, Dan Levy, Hassan Minhaj, and more. We can't wait to see the trailer when it's finally shared with the rest of us. Send us a message from somewhere beyond. Knowing that its release is scheduled for March 10th, 2023 really lifts our spirits. The spirits are just dying to show guests their handiwork. Number six, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Try to live a normal life. Because once you know what you are, they'll sense it too. And they'll come for you. Fans of the Percy Jackson franchise will be thrilled to know that a Disney Plus series is well on its way. And the first trailer was unveiled at D23 Expo. In it, we see Walker Scobell, who you'll know from The Atom Project in the titular role. As he heads to Camp Half-Blood, he issues an eerie warning to spectators. If you think you might be one of us, my advice is turn away while you still can. Joining Scobell in the principal cast are Leah Jeffries as Annabeth Chase and Ariane Simadri as Grover Underwood. The series is based on Rick Riordan's best-selling books about a 12-year-old demigod Half-Blood embarking on an epic mission to recover Zeus's lightning bolt. While we're still waiting for an exact release date, we know that it will likely be sometime in 2024. Don't say I didn't warn you. Number 5. Elemental Pixar gave us a lot to look forward to, from Elio, an intergalactic adventure, to Win or Lose, a baseball-themed series. They also revealed Elemental, a film that celebrates diversity from the same creative minds as The Good Dinosaur. The Fiery Ember, voiced by Leah Lewis, and Go With The Flow Wade, voiced by Mamadou Ache, grow close despite their differences. Director Peter Sohn, the son of Korean immigrants, divulged that he was inspired by his parents' story. Meanwhile, producer Denise Reem said that it's about, quote, anyone who's ever made a sacrifice or taken a risk, but with a twist. They also shared some concept art and a teaser trailer for the movie, which is set for a theatrical release on June 16, 2023. Number 4. Inside Out 2 Amy Poehler crashed the end of the Pixar section of the expo with the joyous announcement that Inside Out is getting a sequel. The film will reunite us with a now-teenaged Riley and her emotions. Guys, what's puberty? I don't know. It's probably not important. What? Polar reprises her role as Joy, who will be joined once more by sadness, disgust, anger, fear, as well as some new faces. And we all know when we become a teenager, our head starts to be filled with new emotions that are very tricky, complicated, and hard to understand. And I think Joy is going to be very confused. Pixar's head honcho Pete Doctor added that the film, which is still in early production, will be directed by Kelsey Mann. They're yet to divulge which new emotions Riley will be grappling with, but they did say that we can expect to meet them in the summer of 2024. Set up the classroom set! Today's memories are in, we've got a lot to work with here. Riley dumped her best friend, had a miserable day at school, and quit hockey. The writers have put together a killer script. This reveal brought all our emotions rushing out at once. Number 3. Wish in celebration of its centennial, Disney announced a new animated movie exploring the origins of its famous wishing star. Yes, that one. First star I see tonight. I wish I may. I wish I might. The film follows Asha, voiced by Ariana DeBose, a strong, optimistic young lady who resides in the Kingdom of Wishes, where wishing on a star works. But she's she's got braids and like I don't know she speaks her mind and her I what I love is that she's not just one thing she's many many things and she doesn't always get it right. Disney's legendary good luck charm Alan Tudyk also joins the cast as Valentino the goat. This fantasy adventure ties together the wishes come true motif that connects many Disney classics. It will also honor Disney's innovative animation style by combining old-school watercolor and modern CG. 
DeBose surprised D23 audiences and sang More of Us, one of the film songs written by Julia Michaels. And you wrote a <laughs> doggone good song, Queen. So it's a, we're, I'm, we're, I'm so excited to work with her and we have Me more too. work to do. We wish its exact release date in 2023 will be shared with us soon. Number two, Disenchanted. I wish for a fairy tale life and it's all gone terribly wrong. Or terribly right. Can you believe it's been almost 15 years since we last met Giselle and the gang? But guess what? They're back. And based on the exciting new trailer we just saw, we're in for one magical adventure. Yes, once your peasants have dug out the moat and added a turret and a balcony from which you can sing. I see it now. When we last left them, Giselle had brought a little fairy tale magic to the Big Apple. Now that spark has faded, so she casts a spell to get it back. Only it doesn't quite go to plan. The cast introduced the trailer, which teased epic song and dance numbers, plus new characters, including Maya Rudolph, Yvette Nicole Brown, and Jayma Mays as the film's villains. That's a wicked. Wicked good. <gasps> we can't wait to be enchanted by Disenchanted this November on Disney+. Plus. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Strange World. If you love classic sci-fi movies and have a soft spot for Disney's action-adventure genre, this intergalactic epic should tick all your boxes. Where in the world are we? What in the... We are in way over our heads. The Santa Clauses. Santa Claus is coming to Disney Plus on November 16th, 2022. I, Santa Claus, have decided to retire. We have a grease counselor, right? National Treasure, Edge of History. If you're a fan of the movies, be sure to check out this series when it drops on Disney Plus on December 14th. This is cooler than any room on any episode of Cribs I've ever seen. Ben Franklin glasses? Oh my god. I want that relic. Everything I thought I knew about my dad. Hocus Pocus 2. The newly released trailer to the highly anticipated sequel looks utterly bewitching. Yes, Salem, we're back! Gilbert? Where did you get that candle? We have to get out of here. The witches will be here any second. Ah! The, the book is alive. He woke up? <gasps> oh. Mufasa, the Lion King. We're heading back to the Pride Lands, and this time Mufasa's gonna be the main event. Will we get to see the brotherly relationship between Mufasa and Scar in the film? Mm -hmm. No comment. <laughs> You can't say anything. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Little Mermaid haven't always been smooth sailing for this live-action remake. Production was delayed, filming was paused due to the pandemic, and casting choices sent the internet into a frenzy. Yes, it definitely feels real now. I mean, we finished filming about a year and a half ago. But The Little Mermaid made waves once more by dropping its first teaser trailer at D23. The graphics are breathtaking, the orchestrations are mesmerizing, and Halle Bailey's voice at the end chills just chills. Out of the sea Wish I could be While the trailer doesn't tell us much, it shows that Bailey's casting is sublime. And now we can't wait to see the rest of the star-studded cast in character. The film slated for release on May 26, 2023, and we can't wait to be part of that world. Part of that world. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.